Hey everyone, it's Heidi here with more savings. In this video, I'll share my grocery pickup. I did a Walmart grocery pickup haul using I bought it in Fetch. You can still save money without stepping foot inside of a store. I'll also be sharing seven nights worth of dinners that we'll be doing this week on a budget, of course. So if you're interested in that, keep on watching. If you're new here to my channel, welcome. I hope you'll stick around. I do savings videos. Hopefully it'll give you some ideas and you'll find it helpful on the different things that I share. But before we get started on this Walmart grocery pickup haul, I would like to announce a giveaway. As soon as I reach 500 subscribers, I wanna show you guys my appreciation. It's not sponsored by YouTube, it's from me. I'll do a e-gift card giveaway to one lucky winner. I'll give you guys more details. So as soon as I hit that milestone, I will announce the details. So one of the many reasons I decided to go ahead and do a grocery pickup was because the weather here has been crazy. I hope you guys are staying safe and warm wherever you are. And my daughter also loved the fact that she could wear her pajamas to go get groceries. This is everything that I got. Everything is under $100 after the savings from Ibotta and Fetch, which I'll go over the Ibotta items and the Fetch items first. So here we have the Oral Weed Organic Kids Bread. I thought they had two rebates that attached to this. I'll share with you guys. These are priced at $3.98. I saw two and I guess I should have read them. One's for the Oral Wheat and then one's for the Arnold. So they have the same picture on there, but they're two separate rebates. So make sure you check those out. After this savings, the final cost is $2.98. So for my next purchase, I have shared these many times with you guys. It's on the core bar. If you're in-store shopping, they are located near the yogurt section. These are priced at $2.24. I had quite a few rebates on my Ibotta, all for 50% back giving back $1.12 when you buy it for $2.24. And these are great to have around if you're not a big breakfast person, great for after workouts, or if you want a good snack. These are really good, you guys. So here's a great deal. It's a buy one, get one free deal on the Chobani Flip. I love this flavor. It's the Coffee Brownie Bliss. They have many varieties to choose from. These are priced at $1.22. So when you buy two, you'll pay $2.44, getting back $1.22, making the final cost just $0.61 cents each. Another great yogurt deal that I love is on the Wee Yogurt. This is by far my favorite one. These are priced at $1.23. On my Ibotta, I got back $0.25. Cents. I could get up to 5 making the final cost only $0.98. Cents. And they also have many varieties to choose from with this yogurt. Another deal under $1 is on the Sparkling Ice Plus Caffeine. This has zero sugar and it's only five calories for the entire can. These are priced at $1.28. I was getting back 50 cents for my bada, making the final cost only 78 cents. My husband loves these, he says they're really good. So this next offer you also have seen in my hauls many times, it's on the Nerds Gummy Clusters. This is a three ounce bag. It says it's a share pouch, but I'm not sure who's sharing these. These are so good. My kids love these. These are priced at 98 cents. I thought it was giving me back 50 cents, making the final cost only 48 cents. And this is a great item to have for your Easter baskets for your kiddos. And I also grabbed another item that I'll be putting in my son's basket. It's on the Power 8 Ultra. This is strawberry lemonade priced at $1.00. Ibotta was giving me back 50 cents, making the final cost only 50 cents for this drink. This next item is also under $1, and it's a great item to stock your pantry with. It's on the Chef Boyardee. You could get any variety. The sizes of the cans had to be 14 and a half ounces to 15 ounce cans. My son loves this mac and cheese. These are priced at 88 cents. I got back 25 cents from Ibotta, making the vinyl cost just 63 cents. So here we have Sheila G's Brownie Brittle. I haven't tried the gluten-free, but I've tried the other flavors, which are delicious. These are priced at $2.98. On Ibotta, I received a dollar back. And on Fetch, I also received a thousand points, which is equal to $1, making the final cost only 98 cents. If you're in-store shopping, you can find this next offer in the freezer section. It's on the Hibachi Fried Rice by Grain Trust. I have tried these before, they're delicious. They are $2 a box. There are two separate pouches in there and you cook it in your microwave for three minutes. On Ibotta, I received a dollar back, making the final cost only $1, which I think is a great deal. Before I get into these next offers, I wanted to share on Fetch when I did my e-receipt, 
I did have a problem with some of the items not picking up on my e-receipt. So what I did was resubmit. All I had to do was scan the barcode on the items that did not actually pick up. It was easily corrected within less than 15 minutes. So that's a fairly easy process. This was the first time that I actually had to submit something to fetch that didn't pick up in a scan or on my receipt, but it was an easy process. And these are the items that it was. The first one is on the Remix Cinnamon Toast Crunch. These right here are priced at $4.98. This is an Ibotta deal as well. Ibotta was giving me back a dollar. And then on Fetch, they also had where you could redeem for a thousand points, which is equal to one dollar. This is one of the items that I did have to submit for, making the final cost two dollars and ninety-eight cents. This is also another offer that I had to submit for Fetch for the correction. This is on the Sesame Street cereal. This is a family size priced at $3.64. They have a cinnamon and berry flavor. On Ibotta, I received a dollar back and then on Fetch with my correction, they gave me the thousand points, which is equal to $1, making the final cost for this family size cereal only $1.64, which I think is a really good deal. The other deal that I had to submit for was the cereal as well, the Dunkaroos family size cereal. Price at the same price, $3.64. You could also get the Pokemon or the churros, the chocolate churros. The family size box only, you'll receive a thousand points, which is a dollar, making the final cost a dollar and sixty-four cents. And with the cinnamon toast crunch and the two other cereals, I also received a bonus of fifty cents. So instead of paying twelve dollars and twenty-six cents for all three, I only paid $5.76 with this bonus, making each box only $1.92, which I think is an amazing deal considering two of those are the family size items. Another item that I'll be adding to my pantry is on the Oatsum Organic Oat Milk. These are priced at $2.92. It says on Ibotta the offer is free. It's actually not, it's $2.79 back, making this oat milk only 13 cents. This next item has two rebates that are attaching and I did receive both of them as my credit. It's on the CLR Sport Stain Remover, the 22 ounce bottle only. Priced at $3.24, I received a dollar back and a dollar 50 back, making the final cost only 74 cents for this stain remover. So those were all my Ibotta and Fetch deals. I'm gonna get into the rest of the haul with the meal plans. I purchased the big pack of the hugs for my kids, $5.88, it's a 40 count but they did substitute it. They gave me two of the smaller packs, 20 count each. These are normally priced at $3.16, but they gave it to me for the price of the original ones that I ordered at $5.88. Another substitution item I had was on this drinking water. I ordered the Sam's Choice water at $2. They didn't have it in stock, so they gave me two packs of the Ozarka water for the same price. So these are normally $2 per pack. Um, I like to keep these in my purse for my kids if we're out and about. I also ordered the larger size bottles of water, the 16.9 ounces. This is a 32 pack of water for $4.98. I always like to have water on hand. The next item I ordered was for my husband's lunches this week. It's on the Sweet Gherkins. These are $2.88 a jar. And let's get into some of these dinner meal ideas. So the blue cheese is $2.54. I'll be using this in a Cobb salad, which I'll be using some of the other items that I purchased, some bacon, eggs, blue cheese, lettuce, tomato. For the rotisserie chicken price at $5.94, I'm doing a rotisserie chicken bowl, kind of like the little protein bowls with the lettuce, tomatoes, dressing, a little bit of cheese, any other toppings you'd like. We're gonna do that one night, a really cheap meal. The bacon I'll be using for a variety of things. I'll be making a pepperoni egg and cheese omelet and a few slices of bacon on the side one night. We'll toss it into the Cobb salad, maybe even the meatball burger salad as I call it. For these hash browns, these are $2.24 and they are really good. I will be making a breakfast bowl. You cook the hash browns and then you add in your scrambled eggs and I'll do some sausage, which I got right here. I'll be showing you guys and a little bit of cheese, or you can do it without. I'm perfectly fine without any kind of uh, meat in mine. My husband likes to do this turkey sausage in his, which is $3.04, and you can take it and chop it up. You can just leave it like that. We love doing breakfast for dinner. This week, we actually switched it up a bit. We got more meat items than we normally do. These eggs I'll use for a variety of the dinner options, like the omelet, Cobb salad, 
and the breakfast bowl. I got these buttermilk pancakes for my kids at $3.68. They seem to enjoy these pre-made ones. And they taste really good. I've tried these before. I have to have my coffee every day, so I ordered some silk vanilla almond creamer. This is my favorite creamer. And if you sign up on their website, you can print coupons for their other products as well, not just their creamer. They have yogurt and they have their almond milk. The next item, I got some black beans and some corn. I'm gonna do a Southwest chicken bowl. My theme this week is bowls and some breakfast items. So these are cheap little canned meals that you can toss into the salad mix with the bowl. Taco seasoning will go into the Southwest chicken. I'm not sure if I'll um, grill it or if I'll put it in the crock pot and shred it. For these meatballs, they're $5.96. There's, I think, seven servings in here. Kids don't eat the meatballs, so me and my husband will be doing those meals. The meatball burger salad. I'm going to put these in the crock pot, and then we're going to cut them up and make like a little hamburger minus the bun, like a little salad. And then the chicken, this was $5.19 for that. And I'll do a couple different things with those, the Southwest chicken and a taco salad. So since we're doing so many salad dinner options, I wanted to get this lettuce instead of the bagged lettuce, especially for the iceberg lettuce. I find that goes bad really quick. For the paper plates, these are $1.90. Now for these apples, we've never tried these. So if you have, let me know in the comments below. These are opal apples and these are priced at $3.77. They say they're sweet, crispy. So we're gonna give these a try and see how we like them. Every time I go into the store, they're always out, so I figured they must be good. I grabbed some strawberries at $6.12. I'll do some fruit bowls for my daughter, and we eat these as snacks. I ordered some organic avocados. These are $3.26. I'll be using these for the Southwest chicken bowl and maybe even the taco bowl. Might even add it onto the burger salad, I'm not sure. But not a bad price at $3.26. I also got some organic bananas, 99 cents. The only thing with the pickup is you can't pick out your own fruit and vegetables, so whatever they give you is what you'll get. But they do say they try to pick out the best options available. For me personally, I've had positive experiences doing the Walmart grocery pickup. These were also substituted. I had the 10 ounces, they gave me an 18 ounce for the same price. The tortilla strips, I'll use those in the Southwest Chicken Bowl and maybe even the Taco Bowl, I'm not sure yet. But I like to do and plan dinner meals that I can do other things with. So for instance, with all those eggs, I wanna be able to incorporate many different meal options for my family, whether it's lunches, all dinners, whatever it is, without it going to waste. I like to do that with all my meal planning, if that makes any sense. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it helpful. I will be sharing a separate video on all the dinner meals and the cost. I can't think of it right off the top of my head, but it was under $50 for seven dinners for a family of four. If you are new to Ibotta or Fetch or you've never did a Walmart grocery pickup and have questions, please feel free to ask me. I'm here to help you. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. To all my subscribers, thank you guys so much for tuning in and watching. If you're not subscribed, I hope you'll consider subscribing before you leave. As always, I want to thank you guys so much for watching. Have a great day and until next time, bye.